My passion comes from protecting people's health and protecting the environment at the same time. One of the areas that I do research in is fecal source tracking. It's important to know where fecal contamination is coming from in water sources because we can determine, is there a risk for humans to become sick? The other reason why it's important to know the sources is so that we can stop that source from getting into the watershed. Most watershed management agencies have limited resources in terms of personnel, lab testing capabilities, and financial resources. They need to be able to target their resources appropriately so that they can be managing and remediating the areas that are really problematic in terms of human health risk. It's a lot of sampling, so we can really be identifying where it's coming from. Then we have to take that data and draw some conclusions from it. What we're doing is taking months or even years worth of data and having it correlate back to those land uses that we had originally identified to see where our true sources are coming from. What we're looking to do is incorporate methods that watershed management agencies and utilities can actually use themselves. We also need technologies to remove pathogens and disease-causing organisms from water. So some of my research looks at either removing or inactivating pathogens and doing so in a way that doesn't produce harmful byproducts. We've also looked at solar radiation as a low-cost alternative for developing countries or rural areas that don't have as many resources. All the research that I work on, we do right here at WPI in our laboratories. The environment at WPI allows me to have undergraduate students and graduate students working side by side, and they can merge together and work in the same environment. All the research that I do that's looking to prevent disease transmission in humans at the same time is looking to preserve our ecosystems so that we can use them not just for drinking water sources, but for recreational sources, use them for their aesthetic value and also have them for future generations.